Hello everyone, welcome to the 5th video in the devlog series. In today's video I added a new level, a new gun and much more. Before I begin with today's video I want to announce that we have officially reached 750 subscribers. I wanna thank all of you for that. The support from you guys really means a lot. Now let's try and reach 800 subscribers by the end of the week. So if you enjoy the content you can subscribe and you can turn on the bell so you'll never miss a new video. By the way, we are also trying to reach 1000 subscribers by the end of the year. If we can reach that, a special video will be released. Haha, <laughs> Carlson Bingo. Brrr. Alright, now without further ado, let's begin with today's video. The first thing that I added this week was an audio manager. What I mean by that is that I added a game object that controls most of the audio in the game. To be honest, it wasn't that easy to implement this. Well, at least for me. I wrote the whole script and attached everything, but I still forgot that I had to change the pitch for it to actually work. I firstly used the audio manager for when the enemy dies. After that I also added a sound for when the player takes damage so that you can know when you are game when you are being attacked. After I added the audio manager, I added the first new gun to the game. I was thinking between a sniper and an SMG. I picked the SMG. The first SMG that I thought of was the Uzi, so that's why I added it to the game. The Uzi will have more bullets and it will shoot faster, but it will also deal a smaller amount of damage compared to the pistol and the AK. I implemented everything to it. I also added sound, weapon bobbing, reload animation and more. I will probably put this gun on the second level or on the next level. I'm still not sure. After I added the new gun, I finally finished the second level for the game. The reason why I haven't added that many levels is because I firstly want to add all the important stuff in the first level. So that in the future it will be easier for me to make all the levels. By the way, here's some timers of me working on the second level. The second level will be bigger and it will have different layouts compared to the first level. My goal is to make each level feel different from each other. The final thing that I added this week was the main menu. For the very first time I actually made a simple design, instead of just adding a play and an exit button and the name of the game. Here's how the main menu looks at the moment. I will work on the menu in the next episodes, for example I will need to change the background, cause at the moment it's just the default unity background. I will also change the look of the buttons. Before I end the video I want to announce that I have my own discord server. Where you, on the Discord server you can talk about game dev, about my channel and much more. The invite to the server will be in the description and in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching today's video. If you enjoyed the video you can subscribe because we are trying to reach 800 subscribers by the end of the week. Stay tuned for more uploads and until then I will see you guys in the next video.